being the World uh, International Women's Day. Mombasa women and leaders also held an event to commemorate this day with messages of ending GBV and breaking the bias being this year's theme dominated most of the speeches and this is a report by Jerry Massey. Take a look. Speaking during the celebrations, Naila Abdallah, who is a women's rights activist in the rural areas, has urged women not to be used during the campaign and election season to provoke violence in the country. Wanapenda sana kuelimisha watoto wa kike ambapo ndo next generation kwamba wasiweze kutumika. Watoto wetu ni lazima wapewe kipao mbele, lazima waweze kuchukuliwa kama watoto na idara mbalimbali ya kiserikali iwapo wataona kama mtoto wa kike ameweza kudhulumika. Tumekuwa na visa mingi ya boda boda ama kama tunavyoona mwanamke jana aliweza kudhulumiwa. Ni dhahiri shairi kwamba wanawake bado tuko katika dhulma. Ni dhahiri shairi kwamba ni wanawake bado wanaendelea kunyanyaswa na wakiiwa wanaweza kunyanyashwa na wakati kama huu era ya sasa basi itakuwa bado haki ijatendeka Lulu Hassan who is a journalist and a film producer has called on the government to protect and ensure that the rights of women has been observed and insisted on the inclusivity of the youths in the government issues Kama kuna watu walio na katiba mzuri katika nchi yote ya Kiafrika basi ni Kenya Kenya tuko na act tuko na sexual act tuko na implement tuko na any sheria mbada, sheria nzuri ambapo ikiweza kutekelezwa basi hakuna yeyote na tumeona rais ameweza kuwekeza mabilioni ya pesa ili mradi tu apunguze gender based violence sasa tunataka kuona kuanzia kiongozini mpaka mashinani hizi pesa zitatumika vipi na kazi na haki za kina mama zitaenda vipi Nampa, yani naomba kama serikali kama rais aweze kuja ama aweze kutuambia hizi mikakati ya mabilioni aliyoitenga ili kuweza kumtetea mwanamke ni yapi hayo kazi hizo ni vipi pesa hizi zinaenda vipi usishe sana vijana katika upande wa decision making maana kuna kwa kwamba kuna wizara ya youth lakini ukiangalia vijana ni wadogo ni kidogo sana katika hiyo wizara kwa hivyo unajiuliza wanashughulikia masala gani wakati vijana wenyewe hawahusishwi katika masala ya policy making in matters people living with disability Emily Juma has called on them to participate in the incoming general elections and also run for the leadership seats in the country on the other hand women have been challenged to come out and run for the leadership seats and not to belittle themselves himizo that ningependa kutoa kwa PWS ni kuwa waweze ku break the bias kwa kujitokeza hii msimu wa kupiga kura waweze kupiga kura na pia wajitokeze ili Uh, tuchaguliwe kama viongozi kwa sababu sio ulemavu wetu ndio ina ndio inafanya mambo bali ni ile kitu yenye iko ndani yako so wadi kuna slogan moja nitasema kwa kizungu it is not my disability that counts lakini my ability mimi kama mwanamke uh, ambaye anaishi na ulemavu naweza kutoka kama Emily nichaguliwe na niweze kuongoza hata kushinda wanawake ambao hawana ulemavu wote Njermasi, Boss TV, Mombasa.